All right, Rick, real quick, I just wanted to, this one's kind of on the mobile here because it's just now happening, but I wanted to bounce this off you guys and see if any of you guys have ever come across this. Um, so the truck's been acting kind of weird. As you can see, my foot is not on the gas pedal right now. And she's at 2,000 RPM. She's been sitting there for coming up on a minute now. But this only ha this high idle only happens when the HVAC's on. Right? And I'm kind of inclined to say it's a throttle position sensor. Because it's showing 16.5% throttle on there. Let's see what happens when I take the HVAC to off. Instantly dies. Let's put it back on. Now, I'm not saying that the throttle went up like that just by turning the HVAC on. I gave it a quick jab with the gas real quick and then it hung there. So again, foot is off the gas pedal and she's just hanging there. So she's acting kind of weird and you know if I was driving right now uh, past couple weeks what it's been doing is and I, I just want to bounce this off you guys and see if you guys have had the same thing but um, basically you'll be driving you'll be coasting down with your foot all the way down on the clutch and then as soon as you come out to a stop RPMs go back down and it doesn't happen every time but it happens occasionally to where it'll dip down below 500 RPM and then it almost dies like it sputters and then it picks itself back up and then it finally settles down and again this is all with the hvac running if i turn the hvac off while i'm driving the truck runs beautifully but as you can see it is still just holding there so i'm going to look at this at this throttle position here and see if that goes down if i take my switch to off I really want to get her a better scan tool, but I guess this will have to do. Let's try the load. So HVAC is back on. Truck instantly runs a lot rougher. Jab the throttle. And yet we're only at 19% load. Yeah, she's bouncing around like 18, 1900 RPM. <coughs> Spark advances the full Monty at 25. I'm just trying to think like, is the IAC going? Because like I said, the only time that this happens is when there's a load, like the HVAC system being put on the truck. So I, Trying to trying to think about what it could possibly be. I mean, like, cause this this is 
this is honestly the first time that this has happened where it just it hangs out so I'm kind of glad it's happening with my phone out now but because it has not done this before so right there I just heard the AC compressor click off and then it went down on its own and you can tell she's kind of RPM hunting right there Let's see if it goes back down again. AC compressor's on. And if the vibration in the camera is giving you any indication of how it's running right now. So let's try the throttle again. So now it's warmed up. It's been hanging out at two grand just sitting here idling. So I can give it jabs all day long and it starts coasting down, no problem. curious now if I wait till it idles back down turn the EH back off turn it back on and try this and see if it hangs again let's turn it off let it sit for a minute so, HVAC back on alright so now that it's warm it's not doing it so at least I got it while it was cold. So um, the weird part though is that entire time we were in closed loop for the fuel. So I don't really know what to make of that one. So engine coolant temp is at 168 and we're, sure, we're, yeah, we're still showing 26, 27% load on the engine. Look at that fuel trim though, that's, that's like right at max of what we want it to be. So short term fuel trim is bouncing back and forth between, let's take a look here. So we're going as high as 1.3 all the way to negative 1.6, I'm sorry 2.4 that time. She's all over the place. So right there at that high point, the AC compressor is on right now. Right at that spike is when it turned on. Let's see what happens when it kicks off again. So it's off now. Let's go long term. It's holding steady at 8.6 for the long term. Spark advance, it's jumping not too terribly crazy. But yeah, like there's just she's running kind of weird.
take a look. truck's not throwing any codes for that. So yeah, that's uh, that's what my truck's doing right now. I know it's not exactly an informative one, but I've just never seen my truck do this before. And I was I was going over the Ranger forums last night. And it was kind of going more towards spark plugs and all that stuff. Well, I, you know, I just checked all that and I just replaced it not too long ago <clears throat> from that Ford Ranger maintenance, uh, routine maintenance video. But, yeah. So the only things I can really think of, did you see the RPMs kick up there for a sec? So the only things that I can honestly think of for this is going to be an IAC that's on it. The... What the hell happened here? Why is this thing beeping at me? Why are you beeping at me? Okay, stop. Stop screaming at me. Anyway, um... The only thing I can think of that it could possibly be that would affect the like the actual like running of the truck like that where it's hanging those RPMs is either gonna be like a, a, a sticking throttle position sensor, but then in that case, you know, why isn't it messing up when I'm driving it? Because when I when I'm driving the truck, like on the highway and whatnot, it, it still runs beautifully. But uh it's only at idle and when I'm coasting down from any given speed, like above 10 miles an hour. And again, this all revolves around the uh, the HVAC. So I don't know if that's something with the IAC and it's basically getting stuck somewhere and the computer's trying to overcompensate because it, because it is stuck. Um, or if it is at the uh, sticking throttle position sensor, maybe just at the lower end. Uh, or it could possibly be just a like uh, AC compressor that's failing, you know, and it's just it's getting really tight, so it's putting even more of a load on the engine. So I just wanted to run this by you guys and see if y'all have ever encountered this. Again, this has a 2.3 in it. Um, nothing for the 2.3, nothing crazy for miles, but uh, you know she's she's still driving fine. It's just it's these. It's these really weird HVAC things that are kind of throwing the engine for a loop. So uh, l just let me know if you guys have ever encountered this and maybe like a ballpark area where you would start uh, troubleshooting, and, you know, because I don't exactly just want to go throw the, you know, shoot the parts cannon at this thing. But um, yeah, that's where she's at. So sorry it's been so long since I put a video up. Just been really busy. But uh, hope you all have a good one. Thanks.